Oh, that's no. the beginning. He's like, I can hear the music. music. Nobody can hear me. It's better so early. What's wrong with that music? My heart just goes boom into my throat. The music skipped. Did, wait, was, did it like stay on the track? No. Melissa, can I have Paige's music? Moms accused Abby of causing my daughter's music to skip. We didn't set up this whole day. It's fine. I got this, judges. You better give me a perfect score. skips. My heart just goes boom into my throat. So I'm looking at that stage and I am like mental telepathy willing that kid stay out there. Don't move off that stage. a beat. It was a great way to come back after a catastrophe. We were told by you on the phone to Kelly that Maddie practiced with her music like that and she knew to keep dancing. The day after Maddie's music skipped, I talked to Melissa on the phone and she admitted to me that if Maddie's music skipped, she was instructed to keep on dancing. So make my daughter look bad again. No, we're telling you that you look bad. OK. Because you have said that it's OK to lie and cheat as long as you win and you get your way. And you know what? That's not something that any of us want to teach our kids. My daughter did not practice to music like that. Melissa, I really have a hard time believing you. Well, someone here is lying. If Abby set that up, that would be pretty despicable. That's but cheating. how can you do that? It's I cheating. Don't know. I don't know. I have no idea, but that would be really I low. didn't do anything of the sort. I would never cheat. But moms accused Abby of causing my daughter's music to skip. That's like sabotage. Go back. Let's try it one time. I need to speak to Abby about the situation, and I need to get to the bottom of it. You'd have to ask her. Oh, I, I will. I guarantee it. I'm not happy about this. I want to see the together stuff. I want to see the timing. Really, really important. The kids need to leave. I, I really need to talk. I so need to. Just, Abby, I don't care. I need to talk to you. Please, girls, go real quick. Very quickly, go. I walk into the studio, and Maddie and Chloe are practicing. Maddie is mad at me that I walk into the studio. And I really don't care. I need to get to the bottom of this. Melissa's in there talking to Abby. Oh, 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 oh. on us. What do you think we're, what do you think she's saying? Maybe she's not talking about it. Oh, sure. God. After we and just she's going to say, don't they're talk. just jealous. Melissa, once again, storms off to go tattle on us to Abby. If she really felt strongly that she didn't do what Kelly was saying she did, then stay and defend yourself. Don't go run and tattle on us to Abby. These mothers are calling my daughter a cheater for last weekend. They said that she practiced her dance with that music. Did you cheat for my daughter? They're Absolutely not. You would never send a child intentionally on stage with a bad CD. That makes me look bad. I've been doing this for 32 years, women. Wake up. I have that would ruin all over my, my daughter's career. I would never Whoa, let my daughter cheat. Wait a second. Your daughter's career? How about my name? I know. How about my reputation? I know it's your reputation, but, but my daughter's mine. You just fell into the same pot with them. I'm sorry, because they're calling my daughter a cheater. I don't want my daughter to be labeled as a cheater. She's not. I don't want you to give her special treatment, or I'm pissed. It's I'm done. Melissa, we she's do once again. again jealous that your kid won. Don't you get it? No. Oh, OK, well, I'm, I'm not happy. Toughen up, Melissa. I was mad. I was mad at Abby, but I wanted to make sure that she wouldn't do this. And she said, I would never do that, ever, ever, ever. And I believe her. What were you talking to Abby about? I asked her if she did something in the CD. She's pissed that I even thought that she would do that. JoJo and Mackenzie, you're up. Mackenzie, 
and JoJo are gonna play Lucy and Ethel. And those two are always getting into trouble. Kinda like JoJo and Mackenzie. JoJo, I don't know what dance you're doing. Come over here, irritating me. Come over here. Okay, and then what comes after that? Yes. You do a movie, right? And then, and then where do you go? Remember, your toe goes under. What comes after this? Eight. Turn your foot out! Okay. Your daughter's getting to do a beautiful duet. It could be really cute, but she's missing a bunch of little nuances of details that she's not hitting. This is our last competition in LA. We know that the competition is gonna be fierce. JoJo, she just can't keep up. And if I don't get the win, it's gonna be JoJo's fault. JoJo, can you hear me? Yes, I can. You better practice tonight. I don't want any mistakes. And also, make sure you watch Lucy and Ethel. I did. The whole episode that I watched, she had to bake the bread. And then it came out of the oven. It kept expanding and expanding and expanding. OK. The bread came and pushed her back to the whole other side of the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> it was really funny. Moving right along. JoJo, I'm glad you did your homework. But if you want to get on this team, less talking and more dancing. Music stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. Keep going. I was really proud of JoJo. The girls didn't miss a beat while they were dancing. I definitely think Abby will be happy. The girls did really well. Oh! The music stopped. I mean, the kids handled it fine. Absolutely. However, I mean, you saw JoJo screw the whole ending up, facing the wrong way. You didn't see all that? No, I saw already seven pirouettes on Releve. Fix what she did wrong. We I don't need to keep it. going back to what she did well. I didn't see it. I thought she did good. Come on, get your act together. Hey, 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 hey. Good job, girls. Kenzie, JoJo, come here. So the music stopped, and you kept going. And that's great. That's what I've taught you to do. Now, who thinks they gave a perfect performance? When I walked in here, I said, I saw JoJo at the end facing the wrong way. And your mother? No, it was great. I thought they were great. I know that I did it. I know. We all saw it. But your mother, it's like she puts rose-colored glasses on and she doesn't want to see. I don't know the dance. I didn't see her fall. I didn't see her stop dancing. But the point was, Jesslyn, I have the right to say. You have every right to say. And I said that she did seven pirouettes at the end that I thought were beautiful. That's what right, I thought. Right, so we should overlook Screwing up the choreography no, you should for look the at technique. The, you should look at the, the two counts that she did wrong. Right. That's what you should do. Okay. Absolutely. I need dancers that can juggle dance competitions and auditions just like Maddie can. And I won't tolerate any mistakes. Have you been to Radio City Music Hall? When you're one of 36 Rockettes? The two steps you messed up? Get your fire. Even if Abby's not excited about it, Mia is ecstatic that she finally gets a solo at Nationals in the team division. We're coming off a huge week for Nia. She had the production of a music video for our second song, Slay. She got first place at a dance competition. She beat Kalani, which is a huge victory. Going into Nationals, going into this week, we have to hunker down. There's a lot of work to be done, and Abby's not here to do any of it. This is your first solo at Nationals ever. Yep. <laughs> called No Matter What. So you're going for this and no matter what, no matter what goes on, no matter what happens, go work on it. Okay, oh. So I'm gonna try no matter, matter what. I'm gonna fight. No matter what. The song is a beautiful summary of Nia's journey this year. This is a perfect solo for Nia. Do you like your costume? Mm -hmm. 
It's not quite what you were expecting. Not quite what I expected, but you know what? No matter what, that's the dance at nationals. I'm feeling really nervous right now because I've never had a solo at nationals before. It's a little intense going into the teen division, but it also makes me work really hard. You have a new video coming out. You have a music career. You have all this excitement happening, but you started as a dancer. So here you are. You need to make the most of this performance today. Next up, please welcome number 31, Nia, no matter what. The pressure is on for Nia this week. She wants to prove that she has what it takes to be a winning member of this competition team. Every day is something. When that music skipped, 30 seconds of her solo was cut out. But despite that, Mia was amazing. In third place. Right now, I want Mia to prove to everyone that she can pull off a win, even in adverse situations. Bang, bang, Amanda. Second place. No matter what, Nia. ecstatic that Nia got second place in Team Solo. It's not a jazz dance. There's movements that are sharp and hard and precise, but there's also a femininity to it. There's a quality of artistry and dance and culture. Yes? Go ahead. Kendall's solo was in the Bollywood style. And we spent a long time researching specific arm movements, specific hand positions to get the Bollywood choreography right. More, that has to be more like a snake coming up out of the grass. Push hard for that. Don't take it for granted. Face, what are you doing? Face, come on, Kendall, you look like you're... What's wrong, honey? Come here. Pull it together. Okay? There's other kids that aren't doing so well. There's other kids that don't have a pretty costume. Sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. Okay? Take a moment. Entry number 66. Pre-teen solo. Welcome to a new world. The music stops. She just kept going. In my mind, I was like singing in my head the beats, and I was just like, I got this, judges. You better give me a perfect score. We have the preteen solo category in second place. Number 66. Welcome to a new world. After everything that's happened this week, I think it's amazing that Kendall came in second. Her music stopped, and she kept on dancing like a true performer. World-class talent. We loved it so much, we're going back again. This time, we're going to Canton, Ohio. Uh, we are going to the Apple Orchard. Oh we have a group routine. The routine we are doing is Frost. This week, we're doing a routine called Frost. You think it's sweet and beautiful and this stunning lyrical piece, but underlying, there's this nuance of something frightening, something eerie. And that's what I love about the music. I am not gonna let Kathy get to me today. There is no way. We are going for our 12th victory in a row. Please welcome to the stage, Maddie, Chloe, Nia, Kendall, Mackenzie. 
and Kalani. They couldn't hear the music. They didn't hear it. I think the girls can't hear the music. The crowd is screaming, and I don't think that they can hear the beginning of their song. <laughs> I think they didn't hear the music, but it's okay. It's, I feel like we're being set up this whole day. It's fine. The girls couldn't hear the music. I don't know if this is gonna be good enough to beat the candy apples. Second overall goes to act 108, The Last Dance. And our first overall goes to act 109, Kathy, we did it again. It doesn't matter what you do, the Abbey Lee Dance Company is going to beat you. One, two, three. We are Abbey Lee! Four, five, six! You should see our kids! Seven and eight! We are really great! Nine and ten! We just won again! Eleven and twelve! We have won for the show! Since we're in Pittsburgh this weekend, I'm gonna give every single one of you a solo. <laughs> Solos are very difficult because there's nobody to hide behind out there on stage. It's all about you. Do that again, stand up. Paige's solo is primarily jazz with a few gymnastic tumbling passes. Those are good feet, good. This is my first time doing a solo and I'm really scared because I'm gonna be out on stage all by myself. Get in four starch, good girl. It's scarier when you're alone because if you mess up on stage, you don't really have anyone to look at or anything. I haven't even heard my kids' music yet. How do you practice your dance without music? Well, Melissa's in charge of music. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? Hi, girls. Hello. I have your music, but pages I can't seem to get. Music, where's my music? Music's always getting lost at the studio. Because, I mean, I don't even have music yet. Every day this week, I checked in to see if Paige's music was cut. It was the night before the competition, and Paige still hadn't heard her music. All right, well, if Abby comes out at all, can you just tell her that I need to talk to her? Yes. Go. Good, Nick. Push. When we don't have music to rehearse to, we have to use counts like five, six, seven, eight. But it's not as fun when we don't have music. We are supposed to be competing, and she needs to get these kids to rehearse their solo. It's the night before our competition. The mothers were not confident in their children, which saddens me. I have more faith in their kid than they do. They want that kid to practice, practice, practice on their solos that they're going to get on stage and do for two minutes and 30 seconds instead of learning how to dance. Then they could learn a combination like that and get on stage and perform it. So obviously she's not gonna perform very well when she's the youngest age in the category and she has no music. And she hasn't had any super secret privates. Exactly. Paige does not have her music, but her solo looks great. Melissa, can I have Paige's music? It's downloading. It's been downloading for 14 minutes. I mean, Paige is 10. She needs to run her dance to her music. And it was Friday night, 8 o'clock, and I still had no music for Paige, and we were competing the next morning. This wireless is so slow. Still three minutes. God. Everything is always so last minute. The judges are on stage New York are tough. They are going to be looking at choreography, technique, precision, performance, and then costume. I think all of us moms are in agreement that we are not prepared for this competition. Maddie had a lot of practice because she has scheduled privates every week but not all of us have private lesson time slots. When I'm backstage, I'm really nervous because I'm scared I'm gonna forget my dance before I go on, and it makes me forget it more if I really get rushed up about it. For Paige to learn a solo and perform it in two days, so that makes me nervous for her. But hopefully she just goes out there and uses her personality and charms the judges.
was like a deer in the headlights. That hasn't happened to me in 25 years. I was sick to my stomach. Give a nice round of applause. Make her feel very comfortable. Don't worry about it, Paige. It's a dance. Who cares? Too bad it's my fault. I know, but it's not your fault that it was messed up. <laughs> right? Don't you agree with me? You got your music last night at what, 8.30? <laughs> and went home and went to bed and were expected to rush in here and compete it. There's no excuse. You should remain on stage and continue dancing. It was humiliating for me as a teacher, number one. And number two, she should be humiliated. Pull it down. Maybe, maybe. And then bring it across. Great. She gets a prominent role, a featured role, to me, being in a duet with Maddie. Nia's never had a duet with her. No. Your child's getting everything handed to her. She hasn't earned any of it. I haven't earned any of it. She has come and made a good showing for everything that she's been asked to do. I think it's ridiculous that Bryn has more opportunities than my child, who is a full-fledged team member. She's had more opportunities than Nia has ever had. That duet better be so amazing and had better win first place. Oh, yeah. Or it's going to be Bryn's fault. Yeah. Please welcome to the stage act number 22, Together as One. I hope that me and Maddie do really good, but most importantly, I want to do good because I just want to be a member of the team. says I favor Maddie, and now I favor Brynn. Their music stopped, never missed a beat. Our highest scoring duo trio of the entire competition. Act number 22, together as one. Yes. I am so proud of Brynn. I think Brynn looked beautiful next to Maddie. She definitely held her own. I think this was Bryn's big moment. I hope Bryn gets a solo next week and hopefully soon a permanent spot on the team. I think that Kendall overall is a nice talent and I think she has a lot of potential. I just wish that technically maybe we would kick it up a notch. You're just sitting here and you're just looking straight forward and the judges are out there, so you need to make eye contact with the judges. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Open, pop. Pop, pretty hands. Here at Candy Apples, you have to treat every rehearsal as if you are performing. And I don't think that Kendall's on our page yet when it comes to that. Nice rehearsal that we had. Good. So nothing you wanted to change, Kathy? Oh, no, I don't want to change anything. I feel that Kathy needs to step it up a little bit. Kathy has lost interest in Kendall as a dancer. Good job. As always, a pleasure to work with both of you. Up next, we have entry number 442, Kendall, a junior Miss Next Star contestant. My mom wants me to prove to Kathy that I'm a good dancer and I can beat Abby's.
goes on stage for her solo. The music comes on and it starts to skip immediately. I see the fear in her little eyes. Kendall's not gonna stop. She's gonna dance this number, but I know her fear is the music, she's not on point, and her number's a mess. I'm sitting here watching Kendall's dance and it's very flatlined. Kendall has taken none of the corrections that I have given her. She's not performing, she's not sharp, she is definitely not making eye contact with the judges. Her solo is just mundane. My former student, Kendall, is a beautiful little girl. But the Kendall that stepped out on that stage and did that number was certainly not the kid that I've trained. She was a hot mess. What did Kathy have her doing? All I know is she's wasting a whole lot of time in a car driving to Ohio when she could be in my studio training. Let's face it, Jill, big mistake. Big. Jill, it's not a big deal when something like that happens because I'll tell you why. To whom? To it's not a big no. deal. To a nine-year-old little girl or to... Well, you, no. did, you didn't let me finish. Okay, okay. Had Kathy taken a little more time with Kendall, none of this would have happened. I know. You can't humiliate her over and over and over and I know, I just... I know. <laughs> I'm starting to think that Kathy took us in only despite Abby. She was not a good candy apple. She didn't fit in at all. She's too pushy and too opinionated, and she thinks her kid is way better than she really is. It's the truth of the matter. We all know that Jill is a studio hopper. If it's not happening now, she's walking around whining. Is she truly one of my apples? Not really. She's definitely an outsider looking in. She's just a little girl who wants to dance. Abby can't freaking look at her. Kathy could care less about her. No one cares about the kid. This isn't what it's all about. And our highest scoring 9 to 11 soloist in the next star division will be. That Kendall better not be first place. There is no way that she's going to win and beat my girls with that performance. 428, Roxy.